So here's how you make a zombie solar system. And, and the craziest part is I'm not making any of this up. We actually think this happens and it is the best. So the very first planet discovered around another star wasn't a planet around a, a main sequence star or red dwarf or anything else. It was actually discovered around a pulsar. The name of the pulsar is... Oh, I have to put it in my notes because I don't remember. PSR B1257 plus 12. We'll just call it Poser, PSR, P Pulsar, P I don't know. Anyway, this star is about 2300 light years away and it has three known planets. One of them is super tiny, just like 2% the mass of the Earth. Uh, but there's two others that are four times the mass of the Earth and they're in incredibly close orbit around that pulsar, like closer than Mercury is to our own sun. And pulsars, if, if you'll remember, pulsars are the leftovers of giant stars. These are the cores that are left behind when a giant star goes supernova. This is a big ball of neutrons. So to imagine a supernova going off in our own system and anything surviving is beyond like anything within say the orbit of mars is going to be literally obliterated the the temperatures uh the brightness the luminosity from the central star is so so high it literally melts iron so the planets are literally obliter obliterated the gas giants can survive but only if they're far enough away. Like they, you have to take something like Jupiter and put it past the orbit of Pluto in order to get it to survive a supernova blast. So once a star dies, it's hard to understand how planets could survive that. And that's why this episode isn't about survival of planets after a supernova explosion. It's about zombie planets. It's about planets resurrecting from the dead. And that's what we think happened with this very first ever detected exoplanet around the pulsar PSR number, number, letter, letter, number, number, number. What we think happened is that this used to be a normal system, but it had a two stars. These were a binary star system. And then both stars died, but not through supernova explosions, just through planetary nebula turning themselves inside out, red giant, the whole deal, exactly what our sun is going to do in four and a half billion years. And it ended up with two white dwarfs at the center of the system, which then coalesced, combined, and then exploded. This explosion resulted in two things. It formed a neutron star because now you had enough material in the core to form a neutron star and it also left a ring of debris and then this ring of debris we think eventually coalesced into its own planetary system so these planets that we're seeing around this pulsar 2300 light years away we don't think they were originally in the system we think they are formed from the leftover debris from when two binary stars died, formed white dwarfs, and then collided into each other, leaving behind this neutron star or pulsar with a new family of planets. But now you have dead worlds orbiting a dead star. It's zombie planets. What else can it be? If you like this video, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to all the YouTube stuff. Go to patreon.com slash pmsutter to help support the show, and I'll see you next week.